Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, there is another handy tool which is very good for software defined radio that is known as GQRX. I made a video how to install a uh, GNU Radio Companion uh, on Mac PCs. So once you install this package, uh, GQRX actually comes along with it. So just simply go to your terminal and type GQRX. Okay, this will come up as you can clearly see. This is what GQRX is. Just simply hit enter and it will show up. So this is the screen that you would see of a GQRX. Uh, it's a very good software. It's an open source software which is readily available for all the platforms. Uh, so now here is my USRP. I'm going to connect my USRP. What is the first thing? Let me walk you through the step step by step. So this is my USRP. This is the USB port. So I'm just going to simply plug in my USB port here onto the USB. Open up your software, which is GQRX. Now, the first thing you need to do once you open your software, just go here. Uh, this option right here. This is to see what devices are connected. Uh, you can configure your I.O. devices. Just simply click here. This screen will pop up. This will automatically detect Hack RF, just like here. You can clearly see this has detected my Hack RF. Uh, Hack RF has a default sample rate of 8 mega, uh, 8 mega samples per second. Input rate is about 8 mega. Uh, these are the default options. Just leave them as is and click OK. So once you have your device connected, everything is good to go. Just simply hit the play button, which is right here. Just simply hit that. And you can start seeing different information on the screen. As you can see this. So let me just simply turn off the modulation. All right. So I can just simply visualize what's going on in my spectrum. So right now I was visualizing FM. Uh, just simply you can change the frequency to whatever you want. And this will start detecting it. So let's say I want to look at something around at uh, 2.4 gigahertz. And let's try to increase the frequency. And I can see, uh, I can see a lot of activity uh, of my Wi-Fi networks which is coming to my room and I can just simply increase this a little bit more. I can verify all the Wi-Fi channels which are there and you can see that there's a burst of data which is coming in and you can also see the same thing right here. So I'm using HackRF. So HackRF has a receiving frequency and transmitting frequency from one megahertz all the way up to six gigahertz. That's why I'll be able to see it at 2.4 gigahertz. There are different options which are available to us. For example, if you go over here, uh, you can see you can uh, if you have FM you can select different modulation schemes like I have my D mod off otherwise it was making a noise you can select raw IQ AM LSB uh, upper sideband lower sideband continuous wave lower sideband continuous wave upper sideband narrow FM WFM wide wideband FM and things like that you can invoke these tools and you can actually see what's going on. So if I want to see just quickly, I can simply go here and I can just simply go to my FM band, which is at about 107. Let's try this and let's try to move this marker and see if I can demodulate this. So once I have selected my signal, once I have selected my uh, which one I want to demodulate, I can open go here and I can select narrowband FM. I don't know if you can hear the sound uh, of the music behind it, but uh, having a good antenna right now, I have a very crappy antenna. By moving this around, I can you can clearly see that there's a demodulation which is taking place. So let's just turn off demodulation right now. I mean, you can see there's there's a sound which is coming out. Um, because I have a bad antenna this is not a good antenna for this so that's why you're not seeing much there are a lot of options which are available to you so let me just turn off demodulation 
like uh, you can go to FFT and you can select different type of windows you can select your FFT side you, you size you can select rate and things like that this is in terms of your hack RF now by just simply turning this off and by plugging my RTL SDR dongle which is this this is my new leg RTL SDR dongle plugging in my antenna screwing my antenna in and just simply plugging in so this is my RTL SDR dongle I'm gonna plug this into my USB drive and as soon as I press this it let's just do a device scan it should automatically select RTL SDR dongle uh, but if not that's fine right here this is the device Realtek RTL SDR 2832 so this is the device I can just simply select this this will automatically take my sample rate to about 1.8 roughly it's around 2 mega samples per second but it's about the same just simply click OK and press play and boom this thing has a better antenna it's not that that this device is bad it's just that that thing has a better antenna uh, so I can see a better signal spectrum so I can just simply go to DMOD and now go to my receiver option and turn off my DMOD and do narrowband FM and let's see if I can uh, hear what's going on or I can move this around a little bit and see where I can I uh, hear where can I see another spike and based on that spike I'm gonna see if I can demodulate that signal alright so there's another spike there's another transmission which is taking place at about 104 megahertz uh, but I'm unable to hear by increasing gain a little bit let's see what can I do can I hear anything else uh, but that's the idea behind it um, it's a very beautiful software that that comes with your uh, once you install the GNU radio package I think I showed it in my last video it automatically comes with it and then you can do a lot of reception and see what's going on or what type of signals which are present in air so I hope you like this small tutorial on GQRX if you have any questions uh, leave it in a comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel